Moving on for our next keynote, I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Abdul Sattar, who is the project manager at Qatar Aluminium. He is uh, also the vice president for professionals at the Indian Business and Professionals Council at the IBBC Qatar, and also the immediate past chairman at the Institute of Engineers uh, at the Qatar chapter. Uh, is, is it okay now? Yes, loud and clear. My sharing is okay now? Yeah, I'm putting up your presentation here, sir. Yeah, it's your now. Thank the you. stage is all yours for the next 15 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Distinguished guests and the audience, a warm, very good evening to one and all. In today's lightning-paced world, digital transformation is widely considered the key to business survival. Transitioning manual process to digital allows organizations to remain relevant, agile, and productive in a highly competitive market. Whether that includes companies shifting to a digital payroll or hospital investing in telehealth, it is undeniable that digitization is instrumental to sustainable success. 82% of IT C-suite executives have reported one or more data breaches after implementing new technology within their infrastructure. Digital transformation without cybersecurity is a recipe for disaster. Typically, digital transformation is divided into four categories, domain-based, process-based, business model-based, and organizational or culture and naturally generates a tidal wave of data and connections. Let us have today agenda in digital transformation, industry revolution, and key challenges and opportunities and its benefits. What is digital transformation? Digital transformation starts with the people, not technology. According to Forbes, 70% of all digital transformations fail most often due to organizational resistance to change. See, once we are planning for a digital transformation, we need to ask some questions. Right side, you can see why we need, when we need this, and who are the stakeholders for this, who are the beneficial and affected people on this uh, transformation, and what methodology we will use it, and how we will use it. These questions will answer to you to make a platform the transformation from manual to digital. In addition to that, we need to calculate the value proposition also, either in customer profile, then we need to find out the insights of the uh, pain and gains, how to add the value while we're transferring. Then we need to map which product and services can be uh, create the essential gains after this digital transformation. I'm just borrowing Steve Jobs. Design is not what it look like or feel like. Design is how it works. So that means we need to design in a proper manner. So the planning of digital transformation, design thinking is a process for creative problem solving, problem solving it. Sorry allows everyone to use the creative tools to address a vast range of challenges. See, the same thinking, we can make it into five phases. Empathize, define, test, prototype, and ideate. So it includes a step-by-step -step practical guidance for leaders to digitally transform their organizations by showing where to get these capabilities and how to lead the transformation. So if we come to the enabler or the initiator and the, create, the, the trigger for this digital transformation by industrial revolutions. The first industrial revolution has been done in 1784, 17th century, with the mechanical loom. All of us, we know that. Second revolution was done in 1870 with the electrical-based mass production. And the third revolution in 1969. 
and 2014 onwards the industry revolution for for online mass production in a smart factor this is the enabler for digital transformation to think about the fourth industrial revolution creates a world in which virtual and physical systems of manufacturing cooperate with each other in a flexible way at the global level this revolution however is not only about smart and connected machine and systems its scope is much wider occurring simultaneously are waves of further breakthroughs in areas ranging from gene screen sequencing to nanotechnology from renewable energies to quantum computing so various domains is now lightning way it is evolving let us come to the context of this uh, digital transformation see forecast suggests that by 2030 another seven years around 50 billion connected devices will be in use around the world creating a massive web of interconnected devices spanning everything from smartphones to kitchen appliances see 2018 22 billion 2025 32 38 billion and 2030 will become 50 billion so there are different core technology trending to digital transformation big data artificial intelligence machine learning in previous sessions we are hearing about the advanced security features for these different different domains and this transformations benefit in all over the the domains or the fields or areas wherever human being involved so just let's, let us look into an example the big data big data is very much give the beneficial to banking sector government manufacturing education especially in the covid pandemic situation we know the education online education was very much useful and healthcare and retail i'm not going much detail because the time can stay but this area see now we have a card the bank card itself will give by the machine or online we can transact earlier how much tra transaction or how much uh, time we are wasting for a transaction in bank so similarly in a, each field if you look into that this digital trans transformation helped human being and society for a betterment we can see here internal and external communications i am sure in this audience any one of them cannot say that okay i am not using any any of these items forum internet email mail training workshops phone you name it whatever everything now human beings are using for a communication or digital trans part of digital transformation here two key words i would like to introduce digital darwinism and digital transformation digital transform darwinism and digital transformation are mentioned often together but they are not the same both concepts work together to describe the decision making process and result of adopting technology or not digital transformation refers to the process of adopting technologies and its advance Digital Darwinism, the evolution of consumer behavior when society and technology evolve faster than some companies' ability to adapt. The point of natural selection is that only some businesses will survive. So one is adopt, second is adapt. Different tools we can utilize for the digital transformation. Tools, there are templates, step-by-step -step tutorials, best practices, and tier one management concept is very important framework this all the tool factors toolkit factors we can add the value for a smooth digital transformation process i would like to just run a video just to see before going to the key challenges
Yes, let us go to the key challenges and opportunities. Critical digital transformation challenges to overcome lack of change management strategy and disaster the digital transformation strategy. Complex software and technology and lack of IT skills. This is of another challenge for the digital transformation we are facing. Driving adoption of new tools and processes. Continuous evolution of customer needs, security concerns, and budget constraints. See, market study revealed that 70% of change programs fail, most often due to resistance from employees. The change management is very, very important. So in the digital challenges, if you look into innovation, outdated KPIs, silos, DX initiatives, tactical plans, limited expertise, this all affecting the digital transformation to achieve its uh, good end. And if you look into more deeper the key challenges, the obvious challenges are very limited. Develop new service and products or digitalize internal process and implement tools. But there are hidden challenges like develop holistic digitalization, change employee mindset this is very, very important. Leadership commitment, sometimes it's failed. If it's that failed, then the digital transformation process will be failed. And integrate with the, in your regular business, I mean, IT as well as business alignment, that's the meaning. And external capability and partnerships develop intent, uh, implementable transformation program. So if right program select and implement, then it's okay. Otherwise, if you wrong selection, then it will completely collapse. So these are the key challenges I would like to enable all of you. And we can see here the bottom 60 to 85 percent of digital transmission failed because of the mindset and the acceptance of the internal team. This is what I can say as per the Forbes market survey. If, let us think about the world of digital transformation. When digital transformation is done right, it's like a caterpillar turning into butterfly. But when done wrong, all you have is a really fast caterpillar. I would like to conclude here. The digital transformation presents a unique opportunity for companies today and in the future. Innovation, critical thinking, a positive attitude, and a reimagining process can achieve great results. We have highlighted challenges and the foundation of a bright future will be vital. Management and employees must be on the same page to reach the best results. Let us all work together to make our digital decade a success. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Abdul. Thank you very much for that insightful presentation. Hope to have you the next time as well.